How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, uh, in the last few weeks some months and stuff we've seen stories about um, phones being given to prisoners in cell, right? Now for those that haven't got a clue what that means, right? Uh, if you look at the picture at the start, right? You can see a plastic phone, um, wall mounted phone, um, white in colour. Um, ordinarily they're given to cleaners within prisons like prisoners that work as cleaners right um, they've now rolled it out where I believe that they're in like Oak Course, Berwyn things like that right and what they're doing is they're giving every prisoner in every cell a phone to use right now that's fantastic now you might think well how does that work right so in each cell if you've never been in prison or you're from the States or something or Australia or wherever you may be from in the world right here in the UK in each cell, you've got a phone socket, right? Now, that phone socket is wired up to the prison PIN system. The prison PIN system means that each prisoner gets a personalised PIN number, and that's and then you've got pre-approved numbers on there, um, and you can ring your loved ones, right? Now, like I say, for every other prisoner, you, in the past, they've used the cell on the phone on the wing, like there's been two or three phones, four phones on a wing, um, that is if they've not been smashed up and broken and prisoners use the phones on the wings during association now what they're doing is they're rolling it out so that every cell has got a, um, a plastic white phone so they can plug it into the cell because in every cell you've got a, a like a phone socket and like I say every call is recorded and stuff like that so security remains intact and it encourages family ties. I'm all for that million percent. You will not see you will not see me disagree. Million percent. Fantastic idea. Problem. What's the point in giving prisoners in cell phones if they can't afford to use the phone? You might as well not have the phone. Right? So it's a step in the right direction. Million percent. I agree. Million percent. Prisoners having cells at uh, phones in their cells, sorry, is a fantastic initiative and it's a great idea. But it's not practical because the prison phone is so damn expensive. Um, and like I say, if you're ringing, if you're ringing a landline, it's not too bad. I think it's about 9p a minute, 10p a minute, 11p a minute, right? If you're ringing a mobile, it's 40 plus p, 39, 40, 40 p. It depends what prison you're in. Um, the prices, I think, may differ from prison to prison. Um, but like I say, the prison phone is very, very expensive. Now, it's my opinion as a former prisoner who's obviously I've, I've, I've been behind my door in strange ways where I've not had a phone um, and I've had to use the phone on a landing. I've been in Forest Bank in the same situation and I've been in Forest Bank where I've actually been a cleaner and I've actually had a phone in my cell. Um, and like I say, it's a great thing. I work seven days a week in prison for a whopping £10.25 a week minus a pound for my television, right? Out of that, right, when the, when you're convicted under the IEP status at Forest Bank, for example, right, IEP stands for Incentives Earned Privileges, right? It's a behavioural scheme, right? You've got basic. Basic means you've had an adjudication or a nick-in. You've, no uh, you've got no TV in your cell. You'll have a prison radio um, and you can spend £4 a week, right? Uh, if you are on entry level, entry level being the first two weeks you spend in the prison, you can spend £10 a week. When you become standard after two weeks in the prison, you go over to standard, um, you can spend £15 a week convicted. Uh, when you become enhanced, you can spend, I think it's £25.50 um, on your canteen. Now, like I said, I worked and got £10.25 a week. My mum was also sending me money, right? So out of that, like, initial, say you just landed at the prison, right? You've got £10. You can spend £10 a week, right? You've got a missus and kids on the out, right? How much do you right? You've got to out of that ten pound. You've got you, you've got the opportunity to buy toiletries, roll-on deodorants about a pound a piece, shower gels, soap. Uh, at Forest Bank, a Dove bar of soap. I think it's ninety nine p or eighty nine p. A black soap set you back about one pound fifty. Right. So you've got ten pound a week to spend. You've got to choose between toiletries. Well, you don't have to choose. You can buy toiletry stationery because obviously you might like to write to your loved ones. Um, spice because of spice paper and stuff like that now uh, I've heard stories where prisoners uh, have been sending in prisoners loved ones have been sending in books of first class stamps and second class stamps they're being returned because of spice because they, they think spice could potentially have been sprayed over it um, if you're sending a stamp address envelope I've heard that they're being sent back now the prisoners having to buy a stamp and envelopes himself so like I say you've got to buy so you buy 
in your if you're in prison you've got not not got an income or any prisoner anyway you get two ols a week a two ol uh, two ols sorry are two free prison letters a week it's a piece of a4 paper um a little envelope and you get two of them every prisoner gets two a week through the door that they can send uh, two letters out at the cost of the prison the prison pay for them um but like i say so you've got to choose between extra food right toiletries stationary to stay in contact with your loved ones or phone credit £10 a week for the first two weeks you're in prison that's how much you're allowed to spend I think if you're in I think if you're on remand I think it's about £15.50 but the, let's go with a convicted £10 a week right out of your £10 right you've, you, you've got to you can buy toiletries extra food stationary or phone credit it's my opinion that in 2018 2019 that prisoners should be able to receive incoming calls, right? Why do I say that, right? People might think, like, well, 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 why should prisoners have to receive incoming calls? Because mobile phones are big business within prisons. Now, it's it's painted um, for the people that haven't got a clue by the Ministry of Justice, right, that um, mobile phones are used in prison to organise witness intimidation, beatings, uh, and to order drugs and contraband to be smuggled into the prison. And that is true to an extent, it does go on, million percent. However, flip the switch, flip the coin, right? A lot of prisoners also have mobile phones in prison. Why? To stay in contact with their loved ones so they can speak to their children of a night, so they can speak to their missus morning, noon and night. Why? Because the prison phone's so damn expensive. If you've been sent down the river for years, right, and you can put hundreds and hundreds, and it's going to cost you thousands of pounds. If you are in prison and you want to stay in contact with your missus, right, like you can do it via letters, email a prisoner. Um, but the main thing is visits and obviously phone. Right? A lot of people use the phone. A lot of people, right? Now, someone comes up to you with a shitty little Zanko, right? Well, they're not shitty. They're great. But the little Zanko phones that are the little prison phones that are tiny, right? That's going to be a couple of hundred quid. So do you pay a couple of hundred quid for that and you can have it for the full sentence? Or do you just keep wasting money? Wasting money putting it on the phone, on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. So like I say, um, a lot of prisoners actually use mobile phones in prison simply to stay in contact with their loved ones. That's the reality, guys. Um, not every prisoner is using mobile phones to organise contraband to come into the prison and intimidate a witness so that they can get out if they're on bail or uh, if they're on remand or something. It doesn't go on that way. Um, like I say, some prisoners do do that, but a lot of prisoners just use it to stay in contact with their loved one. Now, like I say... So every so they're going to give every prisoner um, a, a phone in their cell. Fantastic idea! It's a great initiative. Step in the right direction. But what is the point if you don't have the money or you can't afford to put the money on your pin? Not everyone in prison has got a loving family and a support network sending them stupid amounts of money so they can spend money on the phone every week. It's not happening. A lot of prisoners do, and then prisoners are very lucky. But there's a lot of prisoners that have got phone, that'll have phones in the cell. And I'm like, well, what's the point in me using it? I'll just sell it to another prisoner when he smashes his up. Because I can't use that phone because I can't afford to. Or I'm working in the prison for £7.50 a week or £10 a week or £15 a week. And like, there's no point in me using the phone because by the time I put a fiver on it, it's gone within a day or two. If you've got a phone in your cell, you're going to use it more than if you're locked behind your door for sustained amounts of time and then you get out and you can only ring your loved one once or twice a day because they're the only two times you let out or three times a day. Right, strange ways we was let out what to get our food, um, so in the afternoon if we was lucky, exercise, and then to go and get our meals and we'd eat behind our doors. Right, so like I say, guys, it's a great initiative, it's a step in the right direction, but it's not practical. And the reason it's not practical is because uh, the impracticality of it is the fact that the prison phone is so damn expensive, and that then fuels the demand and the use of mobile phones. Now, like I've alluded to, there is a criminal element, a million percent. But take the criminal element out of it that are using it for, for to get contraband in and et cetera, et cetera. A lot of prisoners are just using that phone to keep in contact with their loved ones so they can like speak to the kids of a night and stuff and find out the day's been and stuff like that. I know it sounds far fetched, but that's that it's a very basic thing. And that that definitely does go on within prisons. Um but yeah, what are your thoughts, guys? Anyway, it, it, my idea, if I was in charge of the Ministry of Justice, what would I do? There's a lot of things I'd do, but on this particular subject. Um, I would make it, I would, it, like I'm talking if I had a blank check, because obviously the budget uh, has been cut by 40% for the Ministry of Justice.
but I would definitely introduce so that every prisoner in every wing, right, you've got a phone there. Every prisoner's got a phone in the cell, right? Um, and they can receive incoming calls. So to generate an extension number, pre-approved numbers only could ring that number between the hours of, say, 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. or 8 a.m. and midnight, um, seven days a week, right? Um, why do I say that? Because it would encourage family ties whilst in prison because uh, Lord Farmer himself states prisoners who receive visits whilst in prison are 39% less likely to reoffend. Um, so that encourages family ties. Prisoners then wouldn't have to choose between toiletries, food, stationery and credit. You take credit out of it. They can spend the money on the food, the stationery and the um, food, stationery and toiletries. Right. Um, and like I say, the, the calls would still be recorded because it'd still be through the prison pin system. Right. So security remains intact. Uh, it would reduce demand for mobile phones within prisons. Right. I, I, honest to God. And that would reflect. And because you've got that family ties whilst in prison, you could give you say you were suicidal. Right? Or you was thinking about self-harming. You'd had a row with your missus and stuff, right? Um, you could one ring her. She could ring you back and say, right, what? And you could talk to her. Or if you were suicidal, it could actually save lives as well. I genuinely, genuinely do believe that as well. Because if you take that support network away, many prisoners will be self-harming. Many prisoners will be seeking more suicide. Because we've seen stupid amounts of prisoners leave prisons in body bags this year. If you take your, say your loved ones in prison, and you take your support away from them... Do you want us to believe they cope? Prison, I don't care how big and how bad somebody is, prison gets to every single one of us, myself included. I contemplated suicide in strange ways. Um, and then I, I got on the phone, I rang my ma, and it was that light at the end of the tunnel. It was that reason to keep living, right? And if it wasn't for that support network and for that phone call, I don't know where I'd be. I could, I could potentially be dead. That's the reality. If you are supporting a loved one in prison, you are reducing self-harm and you are, re you are saving lives because... If you, if you take you guys away from the situation, your loved one could be dead. I'm sorry to put it in such layman terms and such brutal terms, but that's the reality. Your loved one could be dead. If you if you and your support network and your family and your love support and financial support and visits and everything else wasn't there, when you're in prison, right, morale boosters, visits, getting mail, getting pictures from your loved ones, visits um, and phone calls, massive, massive boost, morale boost. Take that away. Take that away. You spiral into depression. You're contemplating suicide. You might see. You might be a self harmer. Um, like I say, that's the reality, guys. And like I say, I think it's a great initiative having phones in cells. But what's the point if it's so expensive? You might as well not have it. If you can't afford to use that phone because you're not working in the prison and you don't have family sending you in money because you've got, you might have a support network, but they can't afford to send you fifty pound a week, twenty pound a week, ten pound a week, right? So, like I say, what's the point in having it if you can't afford it? Do you know what I mean? That's the reality, guys. Anyway, I'm, I'm letting you know what I think. I don't have all the answers, guys. I'm not arrogant enough to think I do. Uh, I'm very interested to know your feedback on this subject. Um, you might support your loved one in prison. You, you might not even... Because you speak to your loved one on such a daily basis, an hourly basis, or every every like couple of hours right on the phone, um, whether it be a mobile phone or whether it be on the prison phone, you probably take it for granted and don't actually think how important your role is supporting that person in prison. And even for the prisoner, he can be supporting his loved one on the out because she's might be that might uh, that that prisoner's girlfriend that might be her whole life in prison and she's not coping very well. And he lifts her spirits and she lifts his spirits. And when he's up, she's up. And when he's down, she's down. And that's the reality, guys. People that support prisoners whilst in prison are aiding rehabilitation now i don't see rehabilitation as a thing but according to lord farmer you're 39 less likely to reoffend. you are saving prisoners lives if you are supporting a loved one whilst in prison a million percent and i've got nothing but love and respect for all of you um let me know what you think about the video i'm very interested to know your comments guys put your comments in the comment section below uh like comment subscribe cody out